Mike Kelly here with you today. I'm really excited uh, today to discuss a little bit about a topic that's uh, found its way into a lot of my conversations lately, uh, and that is the topic of a purposeful education. And what I mean by that is the type of curriculum and activities and tasks we engage our students being involved in, uh, or we engage our students in, being very purposeful. So a big word in education is relevance. We want to create relevance to our students. And what I see a lot of is artificial relevance. And what I mean by that is uh, we create scenarios in which students might be able to identify with or understand outside of the classroom, but they're not really practical. They don't really exist in real life. We're, like, for example, I was looking at a math program that had questions about counting a pile of leaves. And I thought, when are kids ever going to really count a pile of leaves? That's really not truly uh, relevant to kids. Yes, they can understand what it would be like to count leaves, but that's not real world applicable. We're not really doing those things. And I find that in resources and in our classrooms, we are doing our best to create relevance, which there is nothing wrong with, but it really a lot of times lacks purpose. And that's one of the flaws I find in the standards in which we're uh, required to, to teach, um, really finding creative ways to add in purpose, sort of this purpose-driven education, that can we create educational experiences that engage kids in activities, projects, and creations that are purposeful, that serve a purpose, uh, most importantly, outside of the classroom. And in discussing this with some teachers today, in, a, in another conversation, uh, we were talking about our FCS curriculum and how uh, making food for a local homeless shelter or making uh, drapes for a local diner or uh, in computer class, designing a website for a local business. Those are all real purposes that we can engage our students in uh, with our projects and our curriculum, but do we do that in our core content areas? Do students have a purpose for this now with what they're doing in their lives or outside of the classroom? Or is it sort of just artificial and something that might help them do something later? So I feel like that's the challenge. There's a lot of balance involved in this. Uh, we have to teach a certain uh, number of standards uh, that may or may not be really easy to attach a project base. A project to or an authentic task to um, and we can stretch it and teachers do a great job at this we're really stretching that this is important for kids scientific notation and I know you know depending on where you are with this math teachers might debate me uh, this could be hotly contested to say scientific notation really is tough to design relevance and real purpose for for middle school students at this age. Yet, this is something we're requiring all students to be able to master, whether or not a very, very small percentage of them might actually use this in the future. Um, so I feel like we current we constantly struggle with this balance, um, but while discussing uh, curriculum conversations and instructional conversations lately, I really have found myself discussing a lot about purpose. How can we bring in purpose to this next unit or this next project we're designing uh, around a set of skills or around a set of standards? Um, so it's really taking I think relevance to the next level. Relevance is key. Kids need to be able to identify with something uh, uh, academic wise. They need to identify with something that's relevant, something that's current. And I feel teachers do a really good job at trying to do that. But now taking that relevance to the next level and involving purpose and including purpose. What's the purpose of this learning? How is it being used? What type of problem is it going to solve? Uh, and that type of thing. So I think that's a real challenge for us in education as we try to prepare our students uh, for the present and for the future because that's something that we all know motivates us as professionals and motivates kids. Is there purpose behind what they're doing? And when we engage students in that, we find high motivation, high engagement and high performance. So there are times when we do things like Project Citizen in social studies where they're really uh, choosing an area in or a topic that's possibly controversial, uh, uh, potentially needs a solution to it, and kids really get invested in this type of learning. 
how do we replicate that on a larger scale? How can we design a purpose-driven curriculum for everything that we do to engage and motivate students to do their best and also to prepare them for the present and the future? So that's a question I've been struggling with. I want to sort of share that with you. i uh, love to hear any ideas or comments you have around how you're creating a purpose-driven uh, curriculum for your students. Thanks, everyone, for listening today, and have an awesome day. The Mike Kelly way. The Mike Kelly way. Whoa. Whoa. Learning how to educate. We gon' get it straight. We could do it the Mike Kelly way. The Mike Kelly way. Listen to him predicate. You gon' be amazed. We could do it the Mike Kelly way. The Mike Kelly way. Whoa. Clean cut professional as what? What? Tune into the channel. You gon' see what's up. How we gonna get these kids to read enough? The Mike Kelly way The Mike Kelly way